Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your girl Courtney Chavante. If you are new here, welcome. Please make sure you do hit that subscribe button for me and like this video. So today we are going to be working on a trap doughboy ashtray. So I'm really excited to do this one. This was a custom for someone who's pretty special to me and everything so I went ahead and made this up for him. so what I'm doing first is I did go ahead and pre-mix my resin off of camera I am using two-part resin I just do not mix on camera due to the process being kind of boring but I added some of the resin into the rim of that mold and now I am placing my 3d flatback charms into the rim of the mold now these charms are available on my Etsy store. I have them there available for you. Um, so if you are interested, the link will be down in the bio below. So that way you can go purchase. And I do have silver as well. If you guys are interested in other colors, feel free to let me know. And I'll be more than happy to see what I can do. So what you see me doing here is I'm just using my heat gun to thin this resin out, make sure I pop the bubbles as best I can because I want to make sure it's nice and thin for this step that we're doing here. Because here we're just adding in a few drops of this white alcohol ink and then I'm going to be taking a toothpick just to swirl it a bit. You don't want to over swirl it. Um, you just want to, you know, add some designs in from there and you want to see some clear space. So once you get it how you like, you're just going to go ahead and let that set. All right, so what you see me doing here is just prepping a little bit more resin. Um, I want to make sure that all the bubbles were out, so I did let it sit for about five minutes or so before I started. I'm pouring just a tiny bit into the middle of this mold here. I'm spreading it out nice and thinly, so that way I can make sure that the foil that I'm about to place will lay flatly. So once I get that um, thinned out with the heat gun, I'm going to take my foil and I'm going to place that face down onto the mold into that resin. Now from here, you are going to see me grab some of these gold canna leaves and I'm going to add these in um, just trying to fill in the space. I want it to have like a little randomized look like he's kind of tossing out the weed leaves. So that was my goal here. Um, so I want to not have them too clumped up together and everything. I'm adding a bit more resin just to make sure that those spaces are filled because I want this to be a nice even coat on this part. So you'll see me just even this out and make sure it's perfect so I can let it set. All right, so after that has a chance to set and everything, now's for the fun part. This is where we're going to add some color on in here. So what you see me doing is making sure that I get as many of these bubbles out that I can within this um, premixed resin. I am adding in some blue mica powder, and I am getting that mixed on up. I'm going to make sure I stir it very well because I want to get as many clumps out as I can. Next, I add in this blue glow powder and then from there I'm able to get that stirred in as well. I do like to stir separately just because I hope I think it helps um, get that powder mixed in so it's not quite so chunky. When you're stirring it yourself you'll feel some grains at the bottom especially using glow powder. Now just to make sure I get a nice deep hue, I am adding in some opaque alcohol ink in a blue color so that way it's not see-through and I don't want people to be able to see directly through the ashtray. I'm also adding in just a little bit more mica powder to make sure I get the color I want so you may need to go back and forth with the different pigments that you're using to make sure it's the shade that you want. Go through with that heat gun that's going to help thin that resin out and make sure that everything is mixed properly. All right, after you finish mixing that on up, you're going to pour this evenly into your mold. Um, I do like to try to pour as slowly as I can because I have noticed that that creates less bubbles and it just creates a nice effect overall when um, 
the final casting is done. So you're going to see me use that heat gun from here. I am making sure that, you know, there's no bubbles rising to the top. And we're just going to spray that apple alcohol to get the final ones. All right, so all that's done. We're going to make sure that's nice and hard, which it should be after setting and mixing properly. We're just going to wiggle our ashtray from the mold, move slowly, and do be careful of those sharp edges because like I've um, stated in previous videos, it can create a sharp edge um, in the casting. So pull off those extra drippings um, that you do see on the side to make sure you create a nice flush edge. And then once we do get those off, take your sanding block and go ahead and just sand those down nicely. So that way no one gets their fingers cut and no one's furniture is destroyed. All right, here you see me grab my black light. I know this is a very large black light. I do have a um, smaller one, but it's not as powerful. And I want it to be quick and efficient with this. So I turned on this black light. This is going to help activate those glow powders. Keep in mind that if you do use anything glow in the dark, you are going to have to charge the glow in the dark to really get a powerful glow in the dark. <laughs> So yeah, just make sure that you get all sides, get that back side very well. It's fine if you get close to it. Um, the black light does not get hot, so I haven't had any issues with that. And I believe I got this one from Walmart. I'll see if I can find an Amazon link for you. Um, this is actually just a black light that I had for above my bed. All right, so this right here is our finished product. So it looks very beautiful. I love how it turned out, and I'm pretty sure the customer is going to love it as well. I love how that white alcohol ink turned out with those swirls, creating that smoky effect right underneath these gold pistols that I sell in my Etsy store. I love how this doughboy turned out. I love how the little weed leaves look and everything. I just think it's so fetch. <laughs> all right so this is how it looks in the dark now like you see why i was saying as far as um using that black light making sure you charge it because i had absolutely no light in here and look how glowy this is it's beautiful i didn't tell him that it glows in the dark so it's going to be a nice surprise if you do like this video again make sure you leave me a thumbs up and also leave a comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys later Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.